let's see how the sound effect for in uh, Plexity works. I'm going to create a new composition. You know, a new solid. I'm going to add Plexus. And I'm going to add a path object. I'm create the pen tool. Create a basic path. And I'm just going to go to the points and increase the size of it so you guys can see. Now, I'm going to add a sound effector. Go to, I'm just going to drag and drop some uh, sound sample I have here. And go back here, sound effector, and apply sound file. I'm going to increase the amplitude a little bit. Now, you can see that there is a movement here. Actually, I'm going to trim the comp a little bit so it's not too long. I'm going to ramp preview right now. So this you can see that the points reacting to the uh, to the spectrum and uh, to the sound file to create a spectrum. Now let me adjust the frequency a little bit here because right now there are too many spectrums here and I'm gonna Increase it to I don't know, like uh, 200. Now, if you're wondering which frequency to choose, um, you can play around for a little bit if you want. Our After Effects has actually a nice uh, spectrum tool inbuilt. And to go to that, go to Effect and go to Generate and go to Audio Spectrum. Now, I'm going to turn off the Plexus layer for a bit. Now this this audio spectrum is what the sound effect was uh, kind of based upon, so it has a similar uh, UI and everything. So if you choose the sound file here, and if you you can see it kind of re reacts to that too, and maybe increase the thickness or maximum height, so you can see the kind of like this waveform or a spectrum of the audio sample and you can adjust the frequencies to however you want just to give you an idea and you can use those values uh, in Plexus sound effector they line up uh, pretty well so I have like um, a 200 frequency you can use any value I'm just using it so they I get better uh, sound distribution here and let me go ahead and decrease the uh, it's got a lot of points right now. So I'm gonna decrease the density a little bit. And I have a I have a, a path object that's reacting to the sound. Now let me go to the position details. Now there's a position factor here which pretty much multiplies uh, the sound uh, sound values. So you can go really high if you want you get a really peaky uh, spectrum values or you cannot tone it down so you only get like a little uh, tiny movements it's up to you or you can go negative so it goes in the opposite direction and so let me I'm gonna just leave it at minus uh, close to negative one so it's not too peaky and it's uh, it still reacts to the sound pretty good and now you can also uh, apply it to a bunch of instances. So for example, if you replicate this and maybe uh, 20 instances, let me create a camera. Now, this is where the N amplitude kind of comes into the play. Right now the N amplitude is zero. So if you kind of crank it up too, so the N kind of kicks up too. You can have the same values, so it's like flat, but it, I like to kind of keep it a little lower, so I'll get the sound kind of, spectrum kind of fades. And let me extrude the depth a little more, so it's more uh, spaced out. So whenever you have a bunch of sound uh, instances, like a, like a bunch of uh, path instances here, like here, it's always good to sample sound over time. Uh, if you're sampling, every instance at the same time it kind of waveform kind of looks a little flat 
So to do that, make sure to uh, increase the echo. Echo is nothing but the time delay between each sound sample. So the higher you have, the more spaced out the spectrum looks. And this really gives a nice uh, sound spectrum. Uh, it really brings it to life. Let me just RAM preview it so that I could show you. So now you see that it reacts to sound and you can easily create a spectrum. Uh, but not right now you're only affecting the position of the points, but you can affect the scale and the color. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to decrease the point size a little bit so that you can see the scaling a little better. And I'm going to check the scale box. So you can apply the sound amplitude to the scale of each and every point so that if the intensity of a certain frequency is zero, it just uh, stays small, but when the sound intensity increases, it kind of becomes bigger or smaller. Depends on how you set it up. So I'm just going to RAM preview it so it's really obvious once you see it. So it already looks pretty interesting. You can apply a sound to the scale values and you can also apply it to color. Uh, to do that, just check the color box here. And it is very straightforward. If the intensity, the sound intensity at a certain frequency is zero, it takes the color here. In this case, it's yellow. Or if the sound is at its peak, it takes uh, red, or you can change it to any color you want. It's basically a sound equalizer, but you know you could up, you could do a lot more interesting things. You can have uh, a lot of paths, uh, custom paths here. Now I'll, I'll get to that in a bit. But let me uh, change it to something a little more interesting here. Uh, maybe some kind of bright purple and maybe green. Actually, let me do so, and maybe here I just want to go all the way up here. So, let me just run through here real quick. <laughs> Now, if I want the color to react much faster, uh, right now a lot of the points are blue and only a few are highlighted as red, uh, which is good if that's what you want. But if you want the color to react much faster to the sound or uh, more uh, frequently the color, you want to change the color from blue to red, just crank up the color factor so that it's, it easily goes to uh, the, the, this end of the gradient here much faster than before. So let's ramp it again. Now, this is good so far, but you know, this is just points. Uh, we're just looking at points. It gets a lot, a lot more interesting once you add other, uh, other aspects, like other uh, stuff to it. For example, I'm, I'm just going to uh, temporarily turn off the scale and I'm going to add beams. Now, right now there's beams and points, so I'm going to turn off the points. Now, this is a new thing in Plexus if you Plexus 3, if you don't know, the beams are rendered as like one sweeping uh, seamless line. You can no longer see the stitching, it looks pretty nice, uh, very clean. So you can have really clean looking uh, spectrums or beams here. So let me ram through it real quick. So right now the sound is moving a little too fast for my taste. 
So I'm going to increase the delay to 120 so it goes a little slower. And let me change the beams to X axis so you can see like a nice uh, like a classic uh, waveform spectrum here. And now that's where I'm previewing. <laughs> Now this looks uh, pretty interesting already. Remember now we, we just have a basic path line that's just uh, like a single thing. Now we can always change the path and create all kinds of interesting looking uh, structures here. For example, I'm gonna actually delete this path here. Create a nice uh, circle. Now, if you see this here, let me ramp here real quick. Now, if you see that there's actually a little gap here between the ends. If you want to join them, you can just click join ends and it'll be one sweeping circle. Now, the the position is, is inside, which means uh, it's actually, uh, uh, let's change the position factor to positive, so it's it's being applied to the outside. And let's run preview it now. So, and let's see what happens when we add uh, facets. And let's just uh, decrease the uh, opacity a little bit. So you can get a little cooler. So this is one aspect of it. You could create a lot more with uh, other shapes. Uh, for example, I have this uh, project here uh, that I'm working with uh, a sphere. I had a sphere. Uh, I just had a sphere and applied sound to it and added beams and added some uh, f facets at the end and some lighting and it looks uh, pretty uh, interesting and you know you could create a lot of cool different things and hope you guys like the sound effector it's probably the most fun uh, thing to play around with if you have a lot of uh, audio files you can see a lot of cool interesting visual reactors and stuff so yeah check it out